hi and welcome to my channel today i have another spread to share in my handmade art journal i made a tutorial for this journal a while ago and i will try to link it up in the video description um i hope i don't forget it i have already um searched for some papers that i want to use i have some jelly prints here the green one is made with some new stencils that will be in the shop after our holidays in the middle of june and i also want to use some of my handmade washi tape i shared this already over on my instagram page there is a link in my video description and i will make a tutorial here on youtube on how i make this washi tape I also have searched for some handmade stickers. Um, there are already videos on my channel about these. And I maybe I will include the stickers in that washi tape video. Um, check the end cards. There I will link the most important videos. Um, I'm starting with that black jelly print. Uh, because there is some black on the left side of my spread, I want to have the black also on the right side, so everything looks a bit cohesive. Um, and I'm using the Tombow glue stick to adhere all my papers. I'm now having a look which else of the papers I wanted to use here. I really like the red one, but I want to keep that for my main image. Um, I plan to use some flowers here on the spread. And I think I'm going with that greenish paper with this area with the dots. Um, I really like that one. Before I'm gluing down my papers, I usually um, play a little bit around um, composition-wise what I want to use and if I want to add some more. And here I also think about using that handmade washi tape. For the tape I've used, the gummed paper tape, it's usually used to stretch um, watercolor paper. And this is the one from Claire Fontaine in white. Um, and I think I want to combine it with that green background because that matches really nice.
I really like how the tape is working. You can tear it and it's easy to glue it down because it already has some glue on the back. You just have to activate this with uh, water. And what I also like about um, the tape is that it's um, it has a nice size. So it's not too small um, and it's big enough to put down some nice stamped images. And here you can see that I just used a little bit of water with a brush um, to get that tape sticky and I'm adhering it over the green jelly print. We will be on holiday soon so the shop has no shipping between June 1st and June 12th and I hope that our new release will be in the shop around the 13th or 14th. I don't really know how I can manage to to um, get everything done and when the products will arrive. Uh, we will see, but we will have two new stamp sets um, and we will have 10 stencil designs and I'm really looking forward to these because I've already cut them for myself um, with my Cameo and used them for jelly printing and that was really a lot of fun and I think um, the finished stencils have a little bit of better material than than that one that I'm using with my with my paper cutter, and so I hopefully can make some more things than just making jelly prints with the stencils. Um, I also wanted to use one of these stickers. This is also a jelly printed sheet of round labels, and I've added a bit of stamping. Um, as I said, I will link up a video about this in the end cards. And these are very nice um, when you want to work quickly and make something. Um, it adds, adds some nice interest. And they are also really fun to make. So um, they are great uh, when you don't have much time. And it's very addictive to print them I would say. Um, I have a lot of them laying around. I think there are so much that I never can use all of them. I also wanted to do some stamping because everything looks quite empty at the moment and here I picked a stamp from the from the mixed media marks number one in the clear version and I think I didn't recognize it at this point I used my old stamp pad I have it, bought a new one recently because um, that stays on ink pad is quite is quite bad. It looks it looks not good anymore. And here I'm just wondering why my ink pad is not working. Until I am recognizing that I'm using the old one. Um, this is something I just can recommend. Uh, after I would say six or seven years, it might be necessary to buy a new ink pad. Um, Although if you re-ink the, the ink pad, it will not work properly. And here I'm using my new ink pad. And I also make sure that I always keep the ink pad full of ink. This might be a little bit too much because I just re-inked it. Um, but that makes sure that you get good stamp impressions. 
after I did this, I threw away the old ink pad, so um, it does not happen again. And here I'm laying a piece of foam underneath uh, the page. So the stamping works a bit better because the book is quite bulky. I do some more stamping with the ticket from the same set. It's a really nice stamp that I use quite often for texture on the background. Um, I think it matches almost every mixed media project. And I'm using black ink today because of the black on the pages. I feel that contrast works great against the colors that I've already have. And talking about contrast, I also add some white splatters for the same reason. I really love the white against all the colors and against the black. And the texture of the splatters makes it quite interesting compared to the blocked out shapes underneath. While my splatters are drying, I'm going to prepare my main images for this spread and I'm stamping one of the inky flowers to um, the jelly prints. I'm going to use both prints because I want to have the leaf screen and the flower itself red. And I'm going to stamp also the single flower from the set to the red to the red um, jelly print. And then I will arrange those onto my spread. I think that's a nice way to use jelly prints for stamping, to paper piece them. So that means you stamp the same image onto different colored jelly prints. And then you cut out some of the pieces and glue them to the others. Um, I will do this um, soon. And you can see what I mean. And that gives a quite interesting image, I think. Here I have cut out the flowers and I kept the green one complete. And I cut the flowers in red directly on the black outline. And now I'm adhering it to the green one. And that gives a really nice dimensional look. And to add final details, um, I'm using some acrylic markers to color in the center of the flower and also there is a butt in between the leaves which shouldn't be green so I will also use the acrylic marker uh, to make it look a bit more reddish or orangey so it just matches the flower and that I think is a really nice way to use your jelly prints and to experiment with different kinds of stamps. I often do this with mushroom stamps which looks really nice um, but mushrooms are not great in this season. I also wanted to have a sentiment and I'm stamping it to the leftover piece from that washi tape and then I will cut out the words and adhere them to my spread. What I also like to use are these little tabs um, because I like to adhere them to the to the pages and then they are a little bit visible when the journal is closed and I'm cutting them from leftover paper pieces and whenever I need one I 
search for a matching color and here I stamped just a word to it so I can adhere it to the side. I'm now going to adhere the words that I've cut out and I will adhere the tab to the side of the page. I'm using glossy accents therefore because I want to make sure it adheres well. Yes, and that's my spread for today. I'm going to leave you with some photos. Check out the blog post for detailed images and I wish you a wonderful weekend. Bye.